Hello, today I want to talk about orienting your map. I'll explain what that means in case it's a word you haven't heard of before. Um, if you're new to navigation, it's really important that you keep things as simple as possible. The reason for that is when something's simple, it's much less likely to go wrong. And one of the ways we do this is by turning our map so that it's pointing in the same direction as the land that it represents. This means that when you look at the land in front of you, it's the same as what the map is telling you. Um, it gives you an idea of all the land that's around you and you're able to visualize your surroundings. Turning the map like this is called orienting the map. And once you've done it, from your location, anything shown on the map will be in the same direction as it's shown. So if you're looking at a mountain in that direction, on your map, it will be in that direction. If you're looking at a wall junction in that direction, it will be in the same direction as it's shown on the map. Now, there are two ways to orient, 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 orient. There are two ways to orient your map. You can do it by sight and you can do it by compass. So we'll go through both of those really quickly. It's, it's, it's not very difficult to do, so it doesn't take a long time to explain it. So I'm gonna go through how to orient your map by sight first. I think the best idea here would just be to show you an example. From my location here, I can see across the lake, I can see a road in the distance and on the right hand side of the road is where it touches the bank. I'll, I'll drop this onto your screen so you can see what I'm doing. So all I'm going to do from my location, I'm going to rotate my map and point it at the end of the road where it touches the bank. So there's a straight line on my map from me to the junction of the, the, the lake bank and the road. So my map is now oriented. So if I keep it in this direction, anything that is shown in that direction on the map is in that direction on the ground. Anything that is that way is that way. <laughs> it's quite simple. So that's how you do it by sight. Now let's go and have a look at how you do it by compasses or using a compass because sometimes you can't do it by sight. That option isn't available. Now here's a different situation because I'm in the middle of a forest and I'm at a junction of five different tracks. <laughs> they're all, they're running off in all directions. So in this case, what we can do is we can use our compass to orientate our map or orient our map. Um, I'll, I'll drop this onto your screen so you can see what I'm doing. Put your compass on the map so that the edge of the compass, the long edge, is running up one of the vertical lines. And then all you're going to do is you're going to turn the compass and the map together until the north end of the compass needle is pointing in the same direction as the vertical lines. So basically it's pointing north. You might find it simpler to rotate the dial first and so that north is at the top and before you start rotating the map so that the needle is uh, directly over the arrow or red in the shed as they say. Just a, a quick point about doing it with a compass. Um, you have to be aware of a thing called declination which is sometimes the vertical lines on the map point at one part of the world up near the North Pole and your compass needle points to a different part, <laughs> a different area. In, so I've done another video about how to uh, compensate for that. So I'll, I'll put the link in the description box below. So that's how you orient your map. So thanks for watching.